Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm going to be explaining variables in Java. So a variable is a placeholder for a number, a character, or a string. Okay. Um, the variable who a placeholder. يعني شيء يمثل رقم حرف أو string اللي هو يعني مجموعة من مجموعة من الحروف أو مجموعة من الأرقام. طيب uh, يعني مثل الكلمة. Um, so a variable we can assign a variable to hold the value of something okay so here i can assign x to hold the value of three and y to hold the value of four okay so this is in algebra we we can use this to create an expression which is x plus y and that will equal seven so we are uh, using this to um represent the value of something okay طيب هنا في علم الجبر نستخدم هذه الرموز يعني عشان المتغيرات عشان نمثل قيمة قيمة شيء معين طيب فإذا حصلت قيمة الثلاثة تساوي x أو أو قيمة x تساوي ثلاثة ال y تساوي أربعة فبيعطيني الناتج سبعة لأنه x plus y equals seven three plus four equals seven طيب هذه هذه هي هذه هي الأساسية طيب ولكن ليش إحنا نستخدم هذا الشيء في الكمبيوتر أكثر شيء لأنه مثلا أنا أعطيك رقم ثاني إذا قلت لك هذا الرقم اكتبه حلي عشر مرات يعني ترد تعيد هذا الرقم عشر مرات بيكون صعب ولازم تتذكر الرقم ولازم يعني تكتبه عشر مرات وكذا فعشان نسهل استخدام الكمبيوتر والكود وكذا فبعد نستخدم هذه الطريقة الحين إذا بغيت أكتب هذا الرقم أقدر أسوي كذا y مثلا زائد y زائد y بعدين أقدر أحسب قيمة هذا الرقم مثلا قيمة هذا الاكسبرشن طيب عن طريق هذا بدل عن أكتب هذا الرقم كامل ورد أحسبهم نحسب القيمة كذا طيب <تصفيق> okay so we have variables but we have types of variables so we have six types of variables uh, we have more but they are not uh, used much so we are going to use the uh, we are going to learn about the most common used data types so first we have a boolean value which is going to store a true or a false value okay so it's going to be true or false true or false which is uh, the size of one bit. One bit stores only one or zero, okay, inside of the memory of the uh, computer, okay? So we're either gonna go with zero or one. So if it is zero, it's gonna be true. If it is, uh, uh, I mean, if it is one, it's gonna be true. Uh, if it is zero, it's gonna be false. Okay, so we'll learn later about how to initialize these. And we have a character which is going to store the um, characters. الحروف يعني هذا character يخزن الحروف. البوليان يخزن يا إما صح أو غلط. طيب. Um, and I will show you how to use these. And then we have the integer which is a variable that stores numbers that have that don't have a decimal place. Like this. Five, six, seven eight like that okay so these are going to be used to uh store the the int integer is going to be used to uh store the numbers without uh decimal places so we have also a float value a float value is going to store the numbers with uh decimal places all right okay a float value is like a double value they both store decimal places okay here seven and we have a comma here طيب عندنا نوعين من ال variables اللي تخزن ال المتغيرات اللي فيهن فواصل طيب فواصل عشرية يعني هنا هذا الفاصل معنا float ومعنا double الفرق بينهن إنه هو الحجم ال float يخزن four bytes من في الميموري ال double يخزن 8 bytes فلو استخدمنا float 
نقدر نحط فيه رقم بهذا الطول يعني سبع ديجيتس بعد بعد الفاصل واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة طيب سبع ديجيتس آخر شيء بعد الفاصلة إذا زيدنا ثمان ديجيتس مثلا حطينا هنا ست ما بيصير ما بي ما يعني ما يتخزن داخل الفلوت لازم نستخدم دبل دبل ويل ستور 12 12 ديجيتس افتر ذا ديسيمال بليس اوكي سو 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 اوكي اند ذن وي اولسو هاف ا سترينج ذس سترينج از نوت ا بريميتيف داتا تايب اتس نوت اتس نوت لايك ذيز داتا تايبس هير It's an object, but we use this to store the um, the strings, the كلمات. نستخدم هذه عشان نخزن مجموعة من الحروف. String اللي هي. طيب. فلازم تتذكر إنه ال byte واحد byte تساوي eight bits. طيب. هذا شيء معلومة إضافية. Okay. So how do we initialize? Uh, how to how do we create a, a variable? So I'm gonna first. start with an integer value okay so i'm gonna declare a, a variable first we we declare the type i will say يعني نحدد نوع الvariable انا بحدد الحين int okay and then we are gonna name the variable but you need to name this something that you will understand okay uh, because you will want to use it in your program so you want to um use a, a name that you can use okay so i'm gonna maybe i want to store in a A price for any item in my shop. Okay, so I'm gonna name the variable variable price. So then, when I use it inside of of my code, then I know what this represents. Okay, so the price of my shoe may, maybe is 23 reals. Okay. Okay, and then this is the initialization step or the declaration step. Declaration, يعني um, الاعلان او او يعني انك تعطي اسم تحدد نوع وتعطي الاسم طيب هذه ديكلاريشن الحين احنا خصصنا مكان داخل الميموري عشان نحط في الفاريبل هذا اوكي سو اند ذن وي كان اساين ذس فاريبل تو سمثينج اوكي سو اف اي يوز برايس اوكي برايس اول رايت اند ذن اي كان اساين سمثينج تو ات اي كان انيشاليز ذس فاريبل Maybe I, I have the price of 20, 223. Okay, so this is the value that is stored inside of the price variable now. But sometimes you can also do this by declaring and initializing the variable at the same line. So you can initialize the name, initialize the type, and then give it a name, any name, and then you can. Assign it in the same line. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to put them in separate lines. Okay, if you don't want to. But um, it depends on your program. Okay. So let's say if I if I made a mistake, if I made a mistake and put a number that is that has a decimal place like this instead of an integer. As you can see, it's gonna. As you can see here, it's gonna give me an error. Okay, and this error is incompatible types found double requires integer. Okay, so يعني هنا يقولنا إنه ال ال النوع اللي حددته والنوع اللي عطيتني إياه ما مت ما متساويات هنا integer وانت عطيني double. فا يعني لازم نكون منتبهين على هذا الشيء. طيب. Okay. So how do we declare a a character? Okay, let's see how do we declare it? a character. A character, you need to declare the name of the, the, the type of the variable and then give it a name, character, okay? And then I'm gonna give it a any character. It can be a number or a character like this, but you need to put it inside of single quotes. Single, only single quotes, okay? And then you can put inside of it any anything you want. C, six, two, twenty-three. You can't do two two more more than one digits, okay? More than one character. So numbers are 
also considered as not as characters. طيب هنا في ال character عشان نسوي declaration حال character لازم نستخدم ال single quote وما نقدر نحط بينهن إلا حرف واحد أو رقم واحد طيب أو علامة واحدة مثلا هذه طيب um, and that's it for the character the string we can store inside of the string multiple um, multiple characters okay but we need to understand that string starts with a capital S if you type a string with small s string as you can see it gives me an error you see that gives me an error so you need to always put the first s as capital for other variables for for other variable types you need to put them in small letters لازم نستخدم small letter عشان هذه ال variables int float character boolean لكن string لازم نستخدم ال capital s and then we give it a name any name and then we will, when we want to declare a initialize a, a string variable we want to use the double quote okay instead of the single quote you need to uh, use the double quote and you can store inside of it any 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 amount of yeah, uh, characters you want okay and you can also put spaces i think yeah but remember the space is is also considered as a character طيب space هنا يعتبر كحرف يعني يعني يزيد في قيمة ال string في الحجم اللي تأخذه من المساحة مثلا 8 bytes وكذا طيب um, and then we have the double you can initialize by doing anything and then you can put inside of it decimal places okay but there is one thing that you need to note float is like the double but if you try to put a float variable variable okay equals 2.377 you see it gives you an error but so when you declare a float variable after you put your number the number you want you need to add an f at the end which indicates it's a float it's not a double okay so to specify that it's a float you need to put an f at the end for the double you don't need to do that okay so let me give you an example also i told you i told you that this number here can a float can only store seven digits okay let's try to store more than seven digits so now if i print the float value on the screen so how do you print on the screen which is going to be used by uh, declaring the system object okay system first a letter is a capital and then a full stop and then you type out out in small le letters okay system dot out dot print line okay we are gonna print a line on the screen and then we are gonna print the w2e variable on the screen okay let's try that as you can see here it gives me seven only seven uh variables only seven decimal places after the number one two three four five six and seven as you can see here i'm doing more than seven digits okay and then also for the boolean you can also only 12 uh, only 12 numbers here one two three four five six seven eight nine okay as you can see it's gonna give me less uh w e w i'm gonna print this on the screen and it will give me only the 12 digits okay let me put here one so you can see you see we have uh three ones at the end and it always only gives me two 
So let me see how, how much is that. I don't think it's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15. So it's 15 digits. Okay. I was wrong about that. Um, طيب. بالنسبة للفلوت قلنا انه لازم نحط اف آه هذه يخزن 15 اعتقد 15 ديجيت هنا سبعة ايوه هي دبل دبل ايوه سبعة لانه هنا يستخدم 4 4 بيتس 4 بايتس هنا يستخدم 8 بايتس فهنا يخزن اكثر طيب ام اند ذاتس ات وي كان اولسو دو ام كومباين فاريبلز As you can see here, um, I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna initialize an int, one int variable, which is uh, price one equals twenty three int price two equals maybe twenty forty two. So if I wanted to, I'm gonna initialize another variable. I'm gonna put the sum of these two numbers inside of it int sum equals price one plus price two okay so plus price one plus price two okay and then i, I can print that on the screen okay system dot out dot print line this will uh we will print the sum of the two numbers okay so we'll print the sum of these two let's see so the sum is 65 all right but if i go here and change the sum right here equals let's say five this will give me the value of five right here so you need to remember that the program executes the code from top to bottom okay so here first we are gonna initialize the first value we'll give it we're gonna give it 23 and then it's gonna initialize the second value which is gonna be 24 and then after that it's gonna sum both of them okay this is gonna be uh, done this um, procedure is gonna be done okay and then after that we're gonna change the value from 65 to what it was before and then it's gonna put it to 5 okay so that's how, how how the program works. You will have to consider this always in your program. You need to understand that the program always goes from top to bottom. Okay. <clears throat> so don't be surprised surprised if your variables are changed. You need to consider that when you are programming. And that's it.